hi you guys welcome back and of course if you are new to this channel welcome my name is Tracy Erickson and in this video we are going to explore the idea of bottomless pits otherwise known as devil's pits so stay tuned There are accounts of bottomless pits all over the world. And a pit is known as bottomless if someone has actually tried to measure the depth of the hole with, without actually finding the bottom. So technically, we're not quite sure if bottomless pits are actually bottomless or not. Um, but we do know that when they have tried to measure these pits, They've been unsuccessful at doing so. There are so many stories of bottomless pits. Some of them are simply dry holes in the ground. Some are full of water. And some of these bottomless pits are even ponds or lakes with a seemingly endless bottom. Uh, similar to the Lake Ronkonkoma, which I made a video about in last year's Halloween Spooktacular. Lake Ronkonkoma is known as a bottomless lake by the natives because um, they say that some people who actually drown in that lake, their bodies are never recovered. Therefore, bringing up this idea that the lake is bottomless or has taken its sacrifices or something along those lines. Bottomless pits have always kind of grabbed the imagination of humans. Uh, you see the idea of bottomless pits in movies and books. And I know personally, I always wonder, could there ever be a bottomless hole? And of course, you can't escape the idea of a pit to hell if you are imagining a pit that has no bottom. Hauska Castle was built in the 13th century and was believed to be built around a sinkhole that was spontaneously created there. Strangely, Hauska Castle was built with no kitchen and therefore no indication of people ever intending to really live there. And not only that, but Hauska Castle is built in a very isolated area, one in which it didn't seem logical to build a castle. And finally, another strange thing about Hauska Castle is that the fortress walls were actually built on the inside and those walls were built around a pit in the middle of the castle. And that pit was believed to be a devil's pit, an endless bottomless pit with horrible energies and demons and monsters and just enlightening all of our imaginations with all of the scary possibilities that could possibly happen in a bottomless pit. So this particular bottomless pit was so frightening to the people around that they literally built a castle to contain the evil energies that lived within that bottomless pit. Deep in the woods, in homes and in abandoned buildings, anyone can research black magic techniques and rituals and attempt to carry them out in their own way. However, it is also practiced in a very sophisticated way. Pits that seem to have no bottom are found in castles and manors across Europe in homes that were lived in by the upper crust of society, the homes of rulers and royalty. Yes, throughout the world, 
There are manors and castles that contain strange pits. Some of them seem to have no bottom. Hauska Castle is one such place. Hauska means bread in the Czech language. Therefore, Hauska Castle means bread castle. This is a rather dark start to an already dark story, as bread is often a metaphor for flesh, especially in sacrificial rituals. Hauska Castle is home to what many call the pit to hell, or a hole that tunnels so deeply in the ground that no one has been able to properly assess its depth. People who have tried have reportedly gone insane. On SpookyGeology.com, it says, A famous bottomless pit that was said to have released demons and monsters was situated beneath Hauska Castle in Czech Republic. The castle was supposedly constructed in the middle 13th century to surround and cover the hole to hell that had spontaneously formed. Spirits and beasts from the underworld escaped to torment the locals. Of geological interest, the area here is limestone, so we could speculate that a natural karst feature was the inspiration for this hole. There is mention in places that a natural crevasse existed at the site and people disappeared. They, were they fallen in or dragged in? And it depends on who tells the story. Now, with this hole at Hauska Castle, prisoners were also lowered into the crevasse to see what was down there, and they were promised to be released if they came out alive. All right, so exaggerated legends actually say that the one who made it out aged 30 years after only being in the hole for a short while. Little of the above information has much credibility and maybe all just tall tales. The supposed hole at the castle is supposedly beneath the floor of the chapel, but the supernatural stories are used as a tourism ploy and mainly appeared after 1994, according to this article. So the story of the hole at Hauska Castle sounds mighty similar to the more modern version, and that was Mel's Hole that this article is pointing out. Now, Mel's Hole is in Ellensburg, Washington, and this hole was actually brought up on the Coast to Coast radio show in, I believe it was 1994 is when that show first discussed Mel's Hole. Pacific Northwest is full of mysteries, from Bigfoot to ghost stories and, of course, the disappearance of D.B. Cooper. Another mystery buried deep in the hills of eastern Washington keeps resurfacing. A bottomless pit said to be a pathway to the paranormal. Como Four's Denise Whitaker heads east in search of the hole. Allensburg and its surrounding valleys and Menashtash Ridge are beautiful in any season. But some believe what lies beneath is a deep, dark hole with supernatural powers. One of the only people alive ever known to have seen this mysterious hole took me as far as he could or would. Oh, honey, don't go up that damn driveway. I want to see if there's tracks up here. I'm just curious. You're out of your tree going up there. Red Elk, a Native American shaman or medicine man, tells me his dad first showed him the hole in 1961. He says, this is an endless hole. He says he's been back many times and that strange things happen every time he goes near it. And people get it confused with what I call the devil's hole. Many locals claim to know about the hole, but it didn't really become a phenomenon until 1997, when Mel Waters went on the Coast to Coast radio show with Art Bell. I, as usual, I brought the dogs with me. Uh, they wouldn't go anywhere near the damn thing. Waters said the hole had a three-foot stone wall around it. It seemed bottomless to him, so he used an old shark fisherman's trick, sending thousands of feet of fishing line down. What I did is I sent down a roll of lifesavers. Uh, lifesavers? Yeah, so when it hits the water, the, the lifesavers will dissolve. But the lifesavers came back up whole, no water. 
So how deep was this hole? Waters said he believed it descended miles into the earth, and he says he's heard strange stories about its powers. The one guy claims that he threw his uh, departed canine down into the hole. He swear the dog actually came back to him. When Mel went public, that's when the trouble began. But why? Now I'm going public on this. Red Elk claims the government has a secret base there. It's an underground base, a very small underground base. That's how Red Elk explains white boxes covering the area on some satellite images. Is the government covering something up? Red Elk says he's also witnessed alien activity at the hole. A huge spacecraft, one, will appear in and hover over the hole. That, he says, happens during summer solstice. They unload and then they load, and then they take off. God help the things that they load. Alien spacecraft, dogs that come back to life. I went to the Northwest Museum of Legends and Lore seeking some answers. Well, I believe there is a hole. But Philip Lipson's never seen the hole, even though he's led expeditions to find it. Well, I think it's an actually a true, a true event, just something that's never really been totally uncovered. And to this day, no one's been able to find it since that famous radio conversation. It was mildly sensational, and then it just mushroomed, completely out of control. Allensburg Public Library historian Milton Waggy says the phone rang off the hook with all kinds of stories about the hole, some explainable, some not. He's still trying to solve the mystery of what happened to the library's file on Mel's hole. Well, it just disappeared, which lends itself to the mysteriousness of Mel's hole. You know, did Mel take it? Did it just sort of you know, rise out of the locked file cabinet? You never know. You know there might be a hole out there. Question is, can any of us find it? Denise Whitaker, Como 4 News. So Mel's Hole, or Mel's Bottomless Pit, is kind of very obscure. There's no real location for this pit. It was never found since he talked about it. But Mel says that he has visited this pit on numerous occasions since all the way back to 1961. So both the pit at Housegate Castle and the Bottomless Pit in Ellensburg or Mel's Pit, um, both of these stories have all of the makings for an urban legend because the hole itself is not seen today. And not only that, in Ellensburg, Mel's Pit is, we're unable to find it at all ever since he appeared on the Coast to Coast radio show in the 1990s. Uh, no one has actually found this particular pit that he spoke of, but many people have looked for it. Mel believes that his pit is now in the hands of the United States government, where they are doing all of their research and experimentation on this bottomless pit, of course, under the cover of darkness. And with Hauska Castle, the chapel was built over the pit, therefore it's not really, it's not open in there for anyone to see at this point. So do these pits actually exist? We don't really know. And of course, all of the all of the accounts of these pits are a little bit unnerving to us. They sound like fiction, but how can we be quite sure that they're fiction? The world is definitely a strange place. Well, that about wraps it up for this video. So if you like this video, be sure to click that like button and share this video with all your friends out there. And of course, if you're a viewer but not yet a subscriber, I would love for you to click subscribe down below. And once you have subscribed, you can then click that notification bell so you can be notified each and every time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching and spending your time with me. I love you. And I'll see you next time. Bye.